Yo, Skatey McSkate Faces, I'm Bill Stoppard and you're watching 5 Things You Must Never Do When Inline Skating. Number 5. Cutting it close. When you whiz past someone silently at high speed, you'll give people a primal scare. These people will hate you and then decide to rightfully hate rollerblading. Don't be a dick. Give people the safe space they deserve on the sidewalks. Number 4 has to do with holding hands. Get t-shirts that say he's mine or she's mine if you can't let go for just a few minutes. Good balance requires free hands. I've seen a boyfriend drag his girl to the ground before. Almost funny, but not. Okay, it was a little funny, despite all the blood. It was pretty bad. The number three thing never to do when inline skating is drunken skating. There's a lot going on with your foot movement, posture, and power application when skating. Even great skaters are many times more likely to twist a leg backwards, shatter an eye socket, or slide under a transport truck when under the influence. He left. The capabilities you trust normally just aren't there when you're drunk. Alcohol is kryptonite for bladers. The number two thing to never do when inline skating is texting or talking on the phone when rolling. Stopping for a text or a call will allow you to recover and skate even better when you resume. Besides, it's very hard to skate when you're dead. Don't split your attention and you might not split your coconut. And the number one thing not to do in inline skating is foot hands. What kind of animal are you if you're skating with your sweaty shoes jammed onto your hands because you're too thick to get a backpack? Stop it now, toe fingers. Nobody at your destinations likes your cheese hands and the foot oil smudged doorknob. It's not a nice touch either. Don't make our sport look disgusting. Yeah, I can smell you just thinking about it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in the link below. And if you want a Skatey McSkate face t-shirt, check the link in the information below the video.